our DNA. We probably all know this double helix structure to be responsible for everything in our body, ranging from the colour of our eyes to the kinds of foods we like. However, it wasn't until 1953 that people learned about the structure and role of DNA, when two men called James Watson and Francis Crick published an article giving the Watson and Crick structure of the DNA, followed by a letter by Maurice Wilkins supporting their evidence. As a consequence of their discovery, Watson, Crick and Wilkins were awarded a Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine in 1962. To this day, the discovery of DNA is usually attributed to Watson and Crick, but in reality, there is more to this story. Their celebrated discovery was prompted by a key experiment by a team led by a scientist named Oswald Avery. In 1944, at Rockefeller University, Avery's group showed that the DNA was the transforming principle. This was vital in revealing the molecular nature of genetic inheritance and the role of DNA in our cells. Despite the magnitude of his achievements, his discovery did not receive immediate recognition, but it was only in the early 1950s when Watson, Crick and other scientists sealed the role of DNA as the location of genes that people realised the importance of his experiments. Between the 1930s and 1950s, Avery received 38 nominations for the Nobel Prize in Chemistry and Medicine, not only for his work with DNA, but also because of his work with antibodies and immune responses. For this reason, many believe that his was the greatest injustice in the history of the Nobel. Oswald Avery's discoveries had a profound impact on many scientists and played a vital role in Watson and Crick's discovery. His work became a cornerstone of modern immunology and ultimately, Without Avery's research, DNA and vaccines would have taken a lot longer to discover and medicine as we know it would not be the same.